New research by Alex Partners showed that 43% of the shoppers wants to buy less in the future. And if they buy, they want to buy more online. This depends from country to country. For example, in China, 70% of the consumers announce they want to shop more online. In the UK and Switzerland, it's 43%. Germany, 39%. Italy, 31%. And Japan, 29%. What surprised me the most was the United States. Only 29% of the shoppers announced they want to shop more online. United States, the country with the most prominent online retailers like ASOS, Amazon, Shopify, Google is going into online shopping, YouTube is going into in online shopping, Instagram, you name them. The report also showed that youngsters aged 18 to 24 also are serious concerned about mental health. What does more online shopping and worries about mental health have in common? It's interesting as worries about mental health is related to not be able to go out to meet friends, to go to a restaurant together. Every weekend I walk into the city and see how the shops are reacting on this lockdown and this COVID. And what I noticed is that many youngsters, they queue in line before the opening of the shop together as a group. This is what youngsters and the new generation loves, being in group, doing activities together and shopping as one of them. I'm 100% sure that e-commerce will keep on growing into the future. I'm also convinced that moving everything online is just the wrong way of thinking. Humans, and yes, shoppers are humans, are social animals. We need to have interaction with friends and family. We have to go outside. We want to do things together. The reason why youngsters are shopping together is because what they wear is how they represent themselves. In the world that is going so fast, fashion is a new language. The future of retail and fashion is not only online. If the traditional retailers wants to win against the internet giant retailers, they need to turn their shop from a liability into an asset. Online and offline experience can be and should be complementary. Research showed that Physical stores boost online sales and online sales increases sales inside the store. Does it really matter if you sell online through your website or inside your store? You want to engage with your customers online, offline, independent of the channel they're using. You want your products and services to be sold to your consumers. As a founder of an e-commerce platform called Masha.ai, I still love to visit physical stores. But not all of them. I love to visit the ones that give me an emotional, engaging experience. It's all about fun. But can smaller local businesses offer this fun? Yes, they can. Take the example of Jordan's Furniture, a New England chain. When we think of furniture, most of us will think about IKEA. Well, Jordan's Furniture created streets, themed streets, and they created their highest turnover ever because they create an experience for their visitors, their consumers. Being creative in how you present your product and your service inside your store and create an experience online, combine them, this is the way to go for retail and fashion. What do you think about the battle of online and in-store shopping? As a consumer or a brand, put your comments, ideas and thoughts in the comments. I will read them, reply and use them in the future videos. Let's discuss this.